Rendezvous-based adaptive path construction for mobile sync in WSNs using fuzzy logic. Welcome to Journal Club, the latest academic research explained in plain English. Today, we're looking at this paper from MDPI's Journal of Computers. It's authored by Benamelhem et al. from the Jordan University of Science and Technology and is published open access under a CCBY license. Let's start by translating the title into more accessible language. When you read this title, you can understand it to mean in very simple terms that this paper proposes a smart way for a device to move around and collect data in a wireless network without getting lost. Let's expand on that a little. The authors of this paper have created a way for a mobile device to move around a wireless sensor network and collect data. This device uses a system called Fuzzy Logic to decide the best path to take. The device and the sensors in the network meet up at certain points, called rendezvous, to exchange information. This new method allows for more efficient collection of data in the network, which can be useful for things like monitoring environmental conditions or tracking movement. Now we understand the title, which is a good start, but before we can break down the full paper, we need to catch up on some terminology, jargon, background information, and context. Specifically, there are some key concepts you'll need to be familiar with. So let's define them now. Rendezvous points, RPs, specific points in a wireless sensor network, WSN, where a mobile sync stops to collect data. Mobile sync, MS, a device that moves around a WSN to gather data from sensor nodes. WSN, wireless sensor network, a network of small, low power sensors that collect data and communicate wirelessly. Fuzzy logic, a system of logic used to represent imprecise and uncertain knowledge in a precise way. Adaptive path construction, a technique for constructing a path that changes based on changing conditions in the WSN. Fixed RPs, rendezvous points that remain in one location for the entire lifetime of the WSN. Fuzzy Inference System, FIS, a computational system that uses fuzzy logic to make decisions based on imprecise and uncertain data. Energy of Sensor Nodes, the remaining power of the individual nodes in the WSN. Transmission Distance, the maximum distance that a signal can be transmitted between nodes. Network Lifetime, the amount of time that a WSN operates before the first node runs out of power and stops working. Now that we understand the title and key concepts, we're ready to dive in and break down this paper. In this presentation, we're going to attempt to answer five questions. One, what were the researchers trying to figure out? Or more specifically, what was their hypothesis? Two, how did they conduct their experiment? That is, how did they test their hypothesis? Three, what were the results of the experiment? Four, what conclusions did the authors draw from those results? And lastly, five, why does this research matter? Why should you care? Let's start with number one. What were the researchers trying to figure out? The researchers started with the hypothesis that an adaptive path construction approach for mobile syncs in wireless sensor networks based on dynamically updating rendezvous points using fuzzy inference systems will extend the network lifetime compared to existing RP-based schemes, which rely on fixed RPs. In this study, they were trying to determine if this hypothesis was correct. Two, how did they conduct their experiment? The researchers used a combination of clustering algorithms and fuzzy logic to dynamically update the locations of rendezvous points in wireless sensor networks to improve the efficiency of data collection. The initial locations of the RPs were obtained by clustering sensor nodes using the k-means algorithm. Each RP was assigned a priority value based on the number of associated sensor nodes and their average hop distance from the RP. The RPs were updated every predefined number of rounds using a fuzzy inference system that took into account factors such as sensor node density, energy, and distance from the RP. The FIS output a weight value that determined the new RP location based on the impact of each sensor node. The updated RP locations were then used to construct an adaptive path using the traveling salesman problem algorithm for data collection. Three. What were the results? The researchers compared the performance of their proposed approach, fuzzy RPs, and the DBRKM approach in terms of network lifetime. They used three metrics, the number of alive nodes, total remaining energy, and standard deviation of remaining energy. 
the proposed approach showed a significant improvement in the number of active nodes per round, energy consumption, and standard deviation of remaining energy. They also compared the path length in both approaches and found that the fuzzy RP's approach had a dynamic path construction during the network lifetime, resulting in a shorter path length compared to the constant path length in the DBRKM approach. Simulation results showed an 83.76% improvement in network lifetime with the proposed approach. 4. What conclusions did the authors draw from these results? The researchers concluded that overall, the proposed approach outperformed the DBRKM approach in terms of network lifetime and path length. Future work can focus on adaptive path design for MS in environments and obstacles. 5. Why does this research matter? This research is important because it provides a more effective approach for data gathering in WSNs, which can lead to more efficient and reliable applications of sensor networks. We hope you've enjoyed this Journal Club presentation of rendezvous-based adaptive path construction for mobile sync and WSNs using fuzzy logic. If you'd like to read the full paper yourself, which we encourage you to do, you can find it at DOI 10.3390 slash computers 1203 0066.